P A I. Oh, come to bed, homie. Sorry, honey. I'm just a little nervous. <sighs> we would talk about it always. For the first time in our lives, Marge fell asleep before I did. Okay, here are your tickets. They're supposed to be good. You're sitting with the players' wives. And don't forget to cheer for me. I'll see you after the game when you're a big star. Bart was strangely quiet. Later, he explained he was confused by feelings of respect for me. It wouldn't last. Wow. Oh my god, I don't believe it! It's really you! The Capital City Goofball! Hello, Dancing Homer. Glad to have you aboard. If there's anything I can do for you, just squeeze the wheeze. The fifth inning will be yours. Everyone has settled in, We've had a couple of beers, the game is official. It's a pretty important inning. Wow, the fifth. It's also the inning I wish I had a zipper on the front of this thing, if you know what I mean. That's <laughs> right, Mr. Goofball. Hey, call me plain old goof. So, what exactly do you have planned for us? Well, I get up, I dance, I spell out the name of the city, all to the tune of Baby Elephant Walk. Ah, Mancini, the mascot's best friend. Well, see you on that field. I'll set him up, you knock him down. Well, hello again, everybody. Dave Glass talking at you. We got great weather here tonight under the dome. Oh, let's see. Upper, upper, upper mezzanine. Hmm. Now these must be ours. These seats stink. I think the players' wives will be a little closer to the action. Actually, this section is for the players' ex-wives. And then I found out that all the while there was this bimbo in Kansas City. Throw it his head! Who'd have thought it? A free ticket to a big league park, but I was too tense to enjoy the game. Every ounce of concentration I possessed was focused on the task at hand. Red Hots, get your Red Hots here. Ooh, Red Hots. Ladies and gentlemen, Capital City's newest sensation, Dancing Home! Hmm, these do taste better at the ballpark. Uh-oh. There he is! I was graceful. I was witty. Brother, I was something. But they didn't care. <sighs> what is with these people? Why are they sitting on their hands? Mom, what's you doing wrong? I don't know. It was so quiet, you could hear each individual smart-ass remark. Well, this guy doesn't make me want to cheer. Gee, I really pity him, making a fool of himself in front of so many people. These cornball antics may play in the sticks, but this is Capital City. The only applause I got was for dragging my carcass out of there. Hey, Mr. Showmanship. He only wants to see in his office right now. I'm sorry, young man. You're just not ready. Pick up your check at the front office and for God's sake, put some clothes on. Well, I guess it's back to good old Springfield. But I can't go back. Not after I've seen the bright lights of Capital City. I'll wither and die like a hothouse flower. Now stop it, you two, and don't look too down. I'm sure this is hard enough for your father. All right, yeah, oh, you're yeah, number one. Way to go, man. All right, Dad. Yeah. Oh, what a family. My wife and kids stood by me. On the way home, I realized how little that helped. So, that's it. The costume's buried now. As my son would say, I'm one sad, ape-like dude. Whoa! Wow. What a saga. Hey, you guys are hanging out my every word. i become the center of attention. Yeah, it's riveting. Tell it again, Homer. Okay. I wonder why stories of degradation and humiliation make you more popular. I don't know. They just do.